Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the Higher Grounds Podcast and today's Morning Minute Meditation. Glad you tuned in today. And uh, today, you know, I just want to talk a little bit about the story of Samson. Samson's life, if you've ever studied it in the Bible, it's really a tragic thing. Uh, Samson was a man who had great opportunity and great potential uh, to do mighty works for God, but who in the end of his life wasted it. And uh, like I said, it's a very sad thing to study it. And I could preach a lot and talk a lot about uh, the story of Samson. But there's one area in Samson's life I'd like to quickly talk about that this morning, and uh, it's the area of his relationships, his borderline relationships, if you will. As I said, I talk a lot about Samson's life, and if I could give a title to Samson, I would call him the borderline judge, because he was just about borderline in everything that he did. And his friendships and acquaintances and relationships were not out of that equation. Samson was always borderline when it came to his relationships. Very early on in his life, the Bible says he went down to Timnath and uh, saw a daughter of the Philistines down there. Another borderline relationship, one of the first ones he ever got into. And because of that borderline relationship, a good handful of people got killed. And a bunch of fields were burnt down, cost a good bit of money. A lot of heartache came out of that borderline relationship. And Samson didn't learn his lesson from that relationship, so later on he came into another relationship with a woman named Delilah. And out of that relationship came, once again, heartache, some much pain to physically, mentally, emotionally, and a good many people were killed, including Samson, all because of one borderline relationship. There have uh, been some good men that have said that Delilah was a Philistine. Others have said Delilah was a Jew. Um, and truth is, whatever she was, a Philistine or a Jew, she was borderline in whatever case. And there are some Christians uh, that you can make acquaintances with today, and some lost people. And they may be good, you think, but in truth, they are always borderline. And your friendships are always going to be very important to how you turn out in your life. And uh, uh, memory comes back to me. I was once witnessing on the street to a young man. And he was walking with a group of boys. And I stopped this young man. He seemed to be very heavy laden. I began to talk to him. I tried to witness to him. But everything I'd say to him, he'd always respond with this. He'd always say, I can't be saved because my friends told me I can't be saved. We're always remember this, my friends. This has been a simple thought, but a borderline relationship will most likely be in a borderline faith. And a borderline faith, most often, not always, but most often means a broken heart. Remember these things, my friend, and have a great day.